What's up lads, this is Diggy here, and this is my first Black Ops 2 video. So, I wanted my first Black Ops 2 video to be about zombies, and uh, I was playing, I started playing this uh, new transit mode, and I noticed that it's completely different to anything else we've seen in like uh, Black Ops or World of War before. It's, the whole layout of it and everything is just completely different, and when I was playing, the first thing I wondered was how do I turn on the power, because I'm not going to get very far without it, even with uh, three other players it's very difficult you won't be able to buy perks you know open some doors all this shit so uh first thing i done was uh it's it's a good bit away which is quite surprising uh when you start off here at the bus depot you hop on the bus and you go to the first stop which is the diner and now this uh, the box is usually here nine times out of ten the mystery box is here and it's probably a wise choice to hit it for a few weapons because you'd probably be out of ammo in your first uh, gun by the time you get there. So I just hit it for a few uh, weapons uh, when I got there. I got the executioner. It's like this handgun that shoots shotgun rounds. It's class, but the power's not here at all. The second stop that I get to is the farm, and again, uh, this uh, the power's not there either. Uh, it doesn't cost to uh, take the bus. You just kind of get on it and shut the door, and it moves on. It does. It might move on without you though. So the farm again. There was nothing there. I didn't even need to hit the box. Uh, just went on from there. The third place you get to is the place that you need to be. It's the power plant, I think it's called, and it's just a little shed. When you get there, is where the power is. Now when it, I think the door costs 750 coins to open, so again, it does take a lot out of you to uh, actually get there, and it is quite hard. So when you get down there, you just open this little shed here and uh, drop down, and you get come into this like white facility, and this is where the power is. But it's not as simple as just going on and going up and turning on the power. They've put a lot of emphasis now. Treyarch have put a lot of emphasis on like this whole building thing, it's like crafting on workbenches, and you can make a range of different things, but even to turn on the power, you need to uh, craft a few items together. So the first thing, when you're coming up to this little room up here, um, you see this hand on the floor. Now, these you need three items to craft together. These items are not always uh, in the same place. They've been in several different places for me um, the few times I've played it. So they will be in this like facility here, but they won't always be in the same place that you see in the video. So the first thing you have to do is put this um the hand that you find put put that together and put on the little motherboard thing. And the second is the lever and the circuit board as well. Uh you put all those three together, craft them on the little workbench thing, and then you will be able to turn on the power. It does take a while, so do have someone watch your back or something. Don't do it when there's loads of zombies around, because you will die. Um, but one thing I have noticed is it takes quite a while to turn the power on, and there's this little like skeleton thing that you can see in the top of the thing uh, when you're turning the power on. Uh, I assume that's part of some Easter egg that I don't know how to do yet. So, I don't know. I haven't found that out yet, but it does take a good 30 seconds for the power to come on. When it does... Uh, there's this little door uh, to the left of the workbench that you can eventually go out and I assume that it opens everything else for your doors like that uh, to get perks and so on. So I hope you enjoyed watching guys and hope you found it very helpful. Um, certainly, it certainly took me a while to get the hang of it. So if you would like to see more uh, Black Ops Zombies videos from me I would uh, appreciate it if you left a like or a comment down below and please subscribe for a lot more from me. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. ...and asserting that such monstrosities do not typically live inside power cores.